Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another show. So, guys, we like it. The Man United direction. Glad to see you guys again. Welcome to our end of week, week end, our end of week roundup of anything happening to matches tonight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Follow us on all the social media platforms. Thank you very much. Right, let's get right into As you know, we'll start from where we stopped, which was the game against Liverpool, where we threw two points away again. Why can't this team finish off teams? We went to Brentford, we were outplayed, out for outmaneuvered, we scored in the 95th, and we considered in the 97th. We went to Chelsea, we came from 2-0 down, we were leading 3-2, and we threw that away. In two minutes, to lose 4-3. We were leading Liverpool, and considered the penalty. Okay, maybe now the penalty was a dodgy penalty, maybe... Uh, 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 the Elliot uh, made a, a meal out of it and left his training leg behind to make it seem like he was found. Apparently, he wasn't. But this is where we are. But we're going into the game tomorrow. We are playing Bournemouth, a team who are newly promoted, but they are not even fighting relegation. That is the funniest training. They've already beaten us at Old Trafford. This is in, I think it was 3 0, 3 1. I can't remember. And uh, 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 this, th 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 this team. I don't know what to expect from this team. You see what I mean? Bournemouth is not a, a, a bad place to go. It's just that they have beaten some teams. They are not a bad team. They are above relegation. They're not going to get relegate, relegated. They've done well. But the problem I'm concerned about is Manchester United's constant, constant ability to constantly lose leads lose possession in the middle of the park, can't finish games out, can't close games out constantly. Doing all the hard work and at the end of it, there's nothing to show for it. And that's the that's the frustrating part of all of it. So let me just adjust this camera quickly. Yeah, sorry about that. So so th this is the part I can't understand or what I'm finding hard to comprehend, whereby this team is, is they're so mentally fragile that it, it actually hurts. It literally hurts. Bournemouth is a team now. I can't even say we can get, get three points. I'm literally thinking we'll get a draw. So you ask yourself how we are measuring ourselves. We can't measure ourselves with the top five. We can't measure ourselves with the bottom team because we can't beat these bottom teams because we don't have what it takes. We don't create enough chances. When we do create enough chances, we now make some silly mistakes at the back. How is this going to proceed? Now there's all sorts of rumours. Eric Ten Hag, if he loses this game tomorrow, he might be fired his last game. Is this Eric Ten Hag's last game? Is this his last game as the, the, the manager for Man United? I don't think so. Don't forget, Tottenham fired Mourinho a week before cup final. We got a semi-final game against Coventry next week. Can will Eric Ten Hag be sacked tomorrow if he loses to Bournemouth? I don't know. That's what the rumors are saying, and I I don't get it. I don't understand why we're at this point. Where is the um, where is the accountability for the players who are constantly underperforming week in week out? How about that? You see what I mean? This people is unacceptable. We can't keep chopping and changing, chopping and changing. Where's the fluidity? To I know Ineos are changing the structure. We're uh, trying to bring in the, the Jason Wilcox. Is look like that's going to be done in the next couple of weeks. But um, Bradford, I think Newcastle are playing hardball. Ashford, I think they're playing hardball to get this deal over the line. It's going to take some time, but this is where we are. Um, I thought we we're going to get Mitchell, but obviously it doesn't look like we're going to get Mitchell in the end. But um, yeah, is where we are. But i say this one more time. What can we do? What can we do to be a better team? Do we, do we lack better footballers? Do we lack footballers? Do we lack creative players? I think United is lacking proper... When I mean proper footballers, I mean everyone can play football. I'm talking game changers. Game influencers, people who can make an impact. Do we have a lot of those players? I think we have less and more of average players. When you have average, superseding good players, you're going to have more average performances because the good players are constantly trying to do the best, but average players, because there are more, will keep providing that average performances. 
which dims the light of the good players. You know what I'm talking about. But while you're watching, smash a like, drop your comments, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. We're on our, on our way to 4K, so help us get to that journey. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And don't forget, we are also on Spotify, so you can listen to our Sunday Therapy podcast on that show as well. And, you know, drop a comment, a like, and subscribe to our channels as well. Thank you so much. Right. Uh, back up, like I was saying, this team... I mean, I cannot wait for the end of the season. Can United make top five? Can they get to Europa? But it looks like we are going to conference, which is actually a shame. Would you rather play in the conference, European conference, or not be in any European tournament at all? Drop a comment, tell us what you think. Would you play the European conference, or would you play in the in no European football at all? Tell me what you think about it. Drop a comment in in in, 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 in drop your comment below. I, I, people asked him, what would you do? It's a hard one. You know, to be honest, it's still European football, but we are really scraping the bottom of the, bottom of the barrel here, babe. We really are scraping, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. We really are scraping the bottom of the pot here. At this point, we really are. But that's where this season has been. Inconsistent. We are the most consistently inconsistent team. Do you know we are the this week Manchester United is the team who have had the most shots attempted on, and we're not even in the relegation battle. So how does make that make sense to me? How Manchester United are the team with the most shots attempted on, and we're not in the relegation battle? Doesn't make sense, does it? It just doesn't make any sense. But this is where we are and this is what the situation is. You know what I mean? But I will say this. I will say this one more time. Um, quick thing I would say is in reference to having another manager, is that the right thing to do? No. I think we should let Ten Hag work with this new in your system with the director of, uh, director of football in place, a uh, sporting director in place, and the new uh, with Berada in place. You know, John Murtaugh is, is literally has, has, been, has been told, thank you very much, good band, good night, see you, see you, see you around. He's been uh, told because there's no point in him staying around while he's not going to be in charge of any transfers. I mean, he did his best, but nah, he didn't really get what we needed. You see what I mean? But I also feel, I think Richard Arnold was, but these are not football people. That's about these are not football people. But this is where this club is. Now that Ineos and Giratin are beginning to try and look for the best football people who can modify and put this team back on the map in terms of football, then I would like to see how Ten Hag man. If they take that responsibility of Eric Ten Hag's transfers away from him and he just focuses on the coaching, then we might see how that might work out. Instead of him managing the team, then trying to find transfer, trying to look for players. Yeah. So tomorrow, my starting up and news again. We have received our 60th injury of the season. 60 injuries. I would like to open an an inquiry like law and order, special victims unit. Why we have so many injuries? I want to look at that medical team. Are they qualified? What are they bloody doing? Malaysia's been out the whole season. So we've lost another self centre back. Evans and Veron out. Radford might be out, but I don't know. This is the situation, mate. And this has not helped the team. We're constantly having different centre-backs literally every other week. But that's not helping the fluidity of the team. It's not. But we are still hanging in there, trying to fight this team, trying to break this down. But it's, 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 been, it's, been, a, it's been a hula hoop season. Really, really, really a season of so many problems. But it is what it is. But I say this one more time. This season has been a roller coaster. Most like most like me, like most United fans. We want this season to end and call it a day. Let's just end this 
Do you want to go to European Conference? If you want United to go to European Conference, drop your comments right there. If you want them to not be in any football tournament next season, just the local domestics, drop your comments as well. But I think it's it's, it's ideal for the status of the club. We need to play European football. Mm. Then there's the news. Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood coming back to Manchester United. Ineos are going to see if they could bring him back. I, there's also the news from the Daily Mirror saying he's going to be sold to another club, another Spanish club. Barcelona looking at him. Do you want Mason Greenwood? I don't think. I still think, even if he's gone back, if he comes back to United, he, there's still going to be a lot of backlash, regardless. Those away fans will make his life a living hell. But I'll say this again. I don't know what to think about the Mason Green. Do I want him back? He's a very talented player, but I think we need to move on from Mason Green. I, I think we need to move on from Mason Green. I think that ship has sailed. We need to move on and start to invest in a centre forward who could work with Haaland because Haaland is not even getting the service. And that's the most frustrating thing. You know what I mean? So what's the point of him being a, the striker? We can't even find the ball to him. And that really is a problem. But all eyes are on the game tomorrow. Can we beat Bournemouth? I would like us to beat Bournemouth. But Bournemouth, they've beaten us Old Trafford already. They're such a hard team to beat. We can't beat them. But what can we get from them? Can we beat them? I would love us to beat them. But I just have a feeling we can't beat them. I have a feeling if they score first, we equalise. The team I would like out tomorrow, this is going to be my lineup tomorrow. Onana, Dallo. Juan Bissaka. He had a nightmare of a game on Sunday against Liverpool. He was, he was horrible. But it looks like it's going to be Onana, Lindelof. No, Onana, Juan Bissaka, Dallo, Maguire, and Koala. Koala was absolutely a young guy. He was, I could see the passion in him. Then let's go to the midfield. Mm, Bruno, Casimiro, and Mane. Okay, then the front three. I will I will start Ganacho, Anthony, Holland. Radford come off the bench, but I think he's injured. I don't think he'll start tomorrow. I don't think he'll be. He probably will be. then they need to play Ahmed. What is the fucking problem with Eric Ten Hag? I don't get it. I I don't get it. But you know we'll just have to see tomorrow. But don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. From me, it's goodbye. And good night. Don't forget, the game is tomorrow. Will this be Eric Ten Hag's last game? We'll just have to wait and see. I'll see you on the next one.